Hello everybody and welcome back to the Shadow Legion. I am your host of the Shadow of course. Now this week's video has been suggested to us by Maddie Rose. Now, Poison Ivy is one of the few female antagonists in the Batman series, but her deep roots with both the environment and the planet Earth itself prove to be deadly as she has the capacity to take down even the strongest of superheroes. So we're going to take a look at this particular character today with top 5 interesting facts about Poison Ivy. And we start this list at number 5. Now at number 5, Poison Ivy has an obsession with Batman, as he is one of only a few people that she was not able to control and conquer. Now in the classic comic books, despite her best efforts, Batman is able to thwart her plan to release toxins into the air of Gotham City. In the movie adaptation of the comic book, she teamed up with both Mr. Freeze and Bane, but Batman was still able to catch her before she was able to execute her plan and stick her in Arkham Asylum. Huh, wait, and after all that, she has an obsession with Batman? No kidding. Now at number 4, Poison Ivy is most definitely a villain. But unlike the rest of the villains in the Batman series, she's more of an eco-terrorist, as most of her targets are evil corporations with bad and shady environmental practices and records. Now, her ability to control plant life make her incredibly deadly, but also capable of some pretty extraordinary things. In one of the series, Poison Ivy rescued orphaned children and kept them safe, and also provided fresh fruit and vegetables to the hungry and homeless. Now, before you go cheering her on and throwing her a parade as a comic book version of Erin Brockovich, she also has a habit of feeding people to a murderous plant known as a guilty pleasure. And at number 3, Poison Ivy's blood contains an incredibly high amount of toxins and poisons. Now this all happened following an experiment by her professor in which he injected her bloodstream with several deadly substances, causing her to almost die. Now while she does survive this experimentation, she does indeed go crazy, but she also develops some incredibly superhuman abilities. And having been used as an experimental lab rat, I think it is well within your right, actually probably everybody's right, if you're going to be experimented on, you should at least get some superhuman powers out of it. Now at number two, because of what happened in number three, she has a full immunity to any type of poison. Often crimes that she commits involve toxins taken straight out of her bloodstream, and the sheer amount of venom in her veins gives her full control over both plants and fungi, for some reason. It is also because of this toxins that Poison Ivy can manipulate any form of earthly substance. So essentially, she is a slightly more evil version of Mother Nature. And at number one, Poison Ivy's most dangerous weapon is a kiss. Her natural seductiveness tends to lure men in, and one kiss from her seals their fate. Not unlike a mafia boss. But this is because of the deadly toxins on her lips that kick in and transfer to her unsuspecting victims. Now this is how Poison Ivy continues to escape from Arkham Asylum, with no man or woman on Earth able to withstand the poison of one of her kisses. She even has the power to kill Superman with her mind control spores, admittedly when she adds a bit of kryptonite to the mix. God forbid she ever falls in love with someone, they get to the altar and the priest says you may now kiss the bride, he leans in, kisses her and all of a sudden, uh, uh, uh. And that's it for me today guys, I hope you enjoyed this look at some of the interesting and weird facts about the character Poison Ivy. Um, hopefully she gets her own movie soon, or at least becomes a villain in one of the other ones that they're doing, um, because it seems like a very interesting character to put on screen. Anyway, thank you again for Maddie Rose for suggesting this list. Remember, guys, if there is a list that you want to see me do, leave it in the comment section down below. I read all your comments, so if you leave it down below, I'll see what I can do. Uh, don't forget to check out my Twitter and Facebook accounts. Those links are in the description. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next Sunday with a brand new video. My kisses aren't deadly. See you next time.